Good thing I got off that boat from Mexico. My legs are killing me. Ever since Mom and Pops died, I've been really missing Louisiana. After they died, they left me an inheritance of $1,000 and the old moonshine business. I heard that a couple of our butlers are still around too, and they stuck around for the business. They also said that they left me a few horses, but I think that I should get one for myself to get me out of here in Blackwater so I don't have to take a stagecoach. I think maybe I'll buy myself some clothes too while I'm at it and get some food. I'm starving. Afternoon, mister. Why don't you take a look at the different types of baits I have at the window? Ain't no shame in using a bit of help while hunting. Them. Look around. Take your time. Maybe I should get a little bit of provisions too for the camp while I'm at it. Take a look at the catalog. Ain't gonna get fresher than that. You forget something? Hey, you 
can't be there. Move along now. Just ain't looking for any trouble in here. If you're out on the trail. Thank you, mister. I'll see you around. I better set up camp and eat something before it gets dark. I knew some old buddies down in Thieves Landing with the gang that I used to roll with when I was a kid. And a couple of them still owe me money. So I'm down to my last thousand dollars. I'm gonna go pay them a visit. Hey, you boys see Ricky? Daystar, I haven't seen you in years. You showing your face, you fuck off. I guess I'll just go find him myself then. Hey boy, it's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Pardon me, sir, have you seen a man named Ricky? Hey, fuck off, puto. You alright? Guess I'll ask these last guys. If not, I'm gonna have to take matters a different way. Excuse me, fellas, have you guys seen a man named Ricky? I thought he told you to get out of here, I said. I'll kill you just for saying. Take this, motherfuckers!
find Ricky. If I don't find him in the next few days, I'm never going to find him at this rate. Maybe he's hiding on this boat somewhere. Ah, oh, there's no way. This boat hasn't been touched for weeks. I have to get the fuck out of here before any more Lobos come back. I guess it's gonna have to wait for the next day for me to track down Ricky. I might as well pop into the old moonshine business. I mean, I got nowhere else to stay.
Man, it feels really good to be back in Louisiana and back home. Good evening, miss. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm just popping in back to the old distillery. I'm going to go talk to Pierre downstairs, our old butler, so I can see if we have any more old moonshine that I could possibly sell for some more cash. I had a thousand dollars, but I really spent most of it on food, provisions for the camp, and new horse. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. I do miss him. He's been a family friend for generations. Go away, damn it. Get moving. I see some taxers on the road. Better keep my eyes straight and my head low. Whew, that was a close one. Man, that was a close one. I gotta make it back to the old moonshine business so I can get some more mash for some more moonshine coming. 
I gotta get me out of this rain oh, so I can go have a drink. I better go back to the moonshine distillery and have some more mash set up so I can sell it again. It's good being back. It's time for me to go have a drink. From the bar talk, sounds like you may have been having too much fun. <laughs> Look alive, fellers. Got us a customer. All right, fellers. Give them what they paid for. I'm thinking after this, I'm going to go hit some bounties.
maybe go look for someone who has some information on where Ricky gone. Here's all you stinky motherfuckers. There once were old Bros Becker, he was a good collector. <laughs> I have a list of new patrons for you. Something's just not right. I think that I hear some sort of animal or something. You get out of here! Back! Back! This is a good pill. I might have to find myself a trapper and sell it.
This place does give me a lot of memories back when Pa took me hunting. Surprisingly enough, I became hunted with that bear back there. But at least that pelt gave me a little bit of money to put in my pocket. Up here at the trapper, I met a lady named Edeline. She told me afterwards to meet her at a post office so she can tell me more information about the man named Ricky. And when I said it brought back good memories, it brought back some bad memories too. Some dark memories. Well, I guess I gotta go up to the post office so I can meet Edeline. She said it was somewhere around McFarland's ranch. I got a map here. I'm not too sure. I'll take a look at it in just a minute. I met up with Edeline back at McFarland's ranch over at this post office. And she told me a little bit about herself. She's an uncanny character. An uncanny character. I knew there was something off with her. At first, I thought she was just like any other gunslinger out here. But in the end, she told me where Ricky was. So we tracked him down and we got one ring that I seen before. Adeline, do it. <laughs> and after that, we took out the rest of Ricky's men so we could have no loose ends. That was actually super cinematic on my end. I'm gonna clip yeah, that. Me with, me, me with my silver and gold guns, just, you know. See, look dressed at all the like guns straight here already. Dressed like a mix between a Mexican and a patriotic American. With the hair of like Irish woman. Wait, I forgot there's a fence here. I can buy more dynamite. Hey, kid. You crazy? Oh, I've been given too much power. I can buy more dynamite and fire bottles. I don't like to waste them, even though I have like more money than I could ever imagine spending. Actually, I could imagine spending it all I haven't, have? I haven't bought all the pamphlets yet. I have, have 6700 Yeah. I haven't bought all the pamphlets yet. I, I almost have, have every single pamphlet. I won't buy most of them, because I don't... Because I have... I have all the ammo pouches. Save me or should I just bleed out? <laughs> But a little did we know after we took out Ricky and his men, there were still scouts out. And there was more men that we had to track down. 
So day after day, me and Adeline tracked down these bounty hunters, and she would disappear every once in a while. One of my friends was doing something one time, I think, and I joined into their session, and they, were, they had, I think they were doing, like, some sort of duplication glitch or, like, something. Hey, you, put down your gun. It's time to serve some time in the jail. But then at this time, Daystar became cold, and he started hunting down and killing each one of the bounty members, becoming one of the world's known gunslingers. He was born by bloodlust and bound to the fate of ridding this world of scum. Good job. I tied him up and then I executed him. Good job. I don't worry, I'm not I'm not coming to help you. I'm just thinking about where to camp. And I've heard of stories back in the old West days of certain gunslingers who can basically raise a pistol at a flick of an eye or a flick of an eyelid, or a fly landing on a piece of bread. And some of these gunslingers were such crack shots, we used to say, shoot a petty off a pecker. Some gunslingers still remain untouched. Some, not so much. They were told to have the best reflexes, agility, and strength. Some stories of men like this say they can kill whole armies by themselves, or whole fire teams filled on carriages, and take them out in a blink of an eye before they can even pull out their gun. Some stories were true, but some, not so much. Some stories even said they were so skilled they made horses fly. Uh, I won't believe that for a minute. Mom can search the camp. That's how a real gunslinger does this shit. Saw it? Shut up. <coughs> She's a saint. We gotta drop off this gold and then we gotta try to fetch a train. We'll see if we get lucky. <laughs> From this point forward, me and Adeline took a train. We knew it was going to go to Armadillo, and we knew it was going to lead us to the last of Ricky Scouts out in the desert. So we sit here, and we prep, and we wait. Can you get up here to the coal, just so you can take over, so I can take a piss? Hey, well. <laughs> Sound like you're lear <laughs> Sound like you're learning from your ewus. You're evolving. <laughs> it's like 
It's like a techno uo. You're like, oh, wah. Oh, wah. Oh, wah. Mr. Uwagato, Mr. Uwato. I'll be right back. At this point, me and Adeline said our goodbyes, but we made one last trip over the bar, or as I did myself, because she ended up disappearing. She told me if I ever wanted to meet up with her again, she'd be up in the La Grasse area in the swamps and in Saint Denis. We'll see if I meet up with her next. Hello, mister. I need to see if I got any bounties or any mail I need to collect. Can't you get a uh, gold piece? Please? And this is the moment me and Adeline parted the ways. She went her own way, I went my own way, and I ended up just going to the bar by myself. serious about that thing you down to be one of my leaders of the group why me seems i found this body better put it on the road for the law man i'm never serious i'm only partially serious this guy? Well, I'll just let him get on. Is that who you're waiting for? Howdy, mister. I'll just take one beer, please. And this is the point where I went out and rode out into the desert just to set up the score between Ricky's men. These are the last of his men and his scouts out over here by this little fort that they made themselves. Whether it be a fort or a camp, I'm not too sure, but we'll see when we arrive.
game kinda. I gotta see what I can collect around here. Might as well take something to collect the score. I'm gonna collect my bounty from taking down these guys. At this point, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, whether it be my moonshine if it makes me enough money, or I'll go up and see Adeline up in Saint Denis. Until then, I guess I'm on my own. Thank you.